Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 26th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at modals. <laughs> Alright then, so what is a modal? Well, a modal is typically a little box that kind of pops up on your website when you click a button with some more information or something like that. So we're going to create one of those in this tutorial and there's a lot of divs involved so it's a really good idea to comment your code as you go along. I've already created these little comments right here so we're going to put all our HTML within that and I'm going to comment everything else as we go along. Okay. So the kind of functionality I want to install on this website is when you click this link, this more info link, we're going to pop up a modal right here with more information about how to become a ninja. So we'll start off with the containing uh, element, the containing div, and that has a class of modal. Now we also want to give this a unique ID um, and it needs to be unique in that we're going to latch onto it later on when we hook up the functionality with this link. So I'm just going to call it my modal because I'm super creative and then I'm going to add another div within here and this is going to have a class of modal dialog. Now I'm going to throw quite a few classes at you here and I don't expect you to remember all of them. I certainly don't, but when you need to uh, create a modal or anything else in Bootstrap, all you need to do is head over to the documentation and it will tell you everything you need to know to refresh your memory. There's tons of classes in Bootstrap and to remember them all would be ridiculous, so don't worry about remembering everything. I'm just going to comment here uh, to say where these divs end. So this is the modal dialog, so I'll just write end modal dialog and that is typically what I do when I'm commenting my code up. I'll just put end and then the class name or ID name. I'm going to do the same right here which is end modal. Alright then. And then within this modal dialog we need another div and that is going to have a class of modal hyphen content like that. Okay and then within here we need another couple of divs. The first one is going to have a class of modal header and this is where the header of our modal pop is going to go so we'll do that and then underneath that we're going to do a div with a class of modal body and that's where the main text is going to go let me just comment this out here end modal content that will do all right so we can have a foot as well as the header and body. I'm just going to use these two because I don't really need a footer in this example. Add them if you want to. It gives you some kind of thing similar to this in the panel where we can typically add links or buttons or other content. All right. So within the header now, what I'm going to do is just add a H2 with how to be a badass ninja like that. And I'm going to give this H2 a class of, oops, class of modal hyphen title all right that just reduces the size of the text a little bit so it's not so wham in your face and uh, I prefer it now down here in the body we're going to add a couple of p tags just to give it some content I'm going to grab that bacon ipsum right there and paste it in oops I've not copied that correctly so copy that and then paste it in Alright, that should do. And uh, that is pretty much our modal HTML done right there. The next thing we need to do is hook it up to this. And you'll notice, even though I've saved and I'll refresh again, that by default, nothing is showing on here. Okay? All of this content is hidden. And that's because Bootstrap is clever enough to understand that you've created a modal pop up here and you only want to show it when something happens on your page, like when someone clicks on a more info link. So, what we're going to do now is hook up that functionality. So we'll come down to this link right here, this A tag, and all we need to do is just add a couple of attributes on this tag. So the first one is going to be data hyphen toggle, and you should be pretty familiar with that now because we've used it in another couple of things like the carousel so far, and uh, we're just going to say modal for that. Then the next uh, attribute is going to be data hyphen target, and this is going to be equal to the ID that we gave our modal which is right up here so grab that and we'll paste it down here where is it there now we do need to put the hash symbol in front that's kind of like the ID sign so we'll save that now and uh, give it a quick refresh over here and uh, when we click on this button now there we go we get that modal pop-up 
Now to close it, typically you can just click on here. You see it's got like a darkened background now, just so this stands out a little bit more. That's pretty cool. We can click on here to uh, to hide it, but not everyone knows that, and it's always a pretty good idea to put a little cross in the top right-hand corner, and we can do that pretty easily up here in the modal. So just above the modal title, what I'm going to do is just come down here. I'm going to create a button, and uh, it's going to have like a class of close. Um, then I'll give it a type equals button and uh, then I'll just put a little oops put a little cross inside and uh, that should probably do the trick oh no sorry we need one more it needs to be data hyphen dismiss equals modal and that's going to tell bootstrap that when you click on this cross you want to dismiss this modal you want to hide it essentially all right so let's save that and refresh over here and we get the modal there's that little cross looks pretty neat and boom away it goes all right so there we go guys that is how we create a modal in uh, bootstrap dead easy i mean there is a pretty large amount of html and div uh, divs that we have to put in and um it is a lot easier than creating the css and javascript ourselves but it does bloat the HTML code a little bit also. So it's down to you whether you want to use bootstraps or make your own. Your decision depends on whether you want to go for speed or kind of less verbose uh, code. All right. But anyway, pretty quick and easy to do regardless. So there we go. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe, like and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the very next tutorial.